was all, well, old hat. Emma Watson was only 10 when she was cast as the bookish Hermione Granger. And now at the ripe old age of 15, like her character, she is growing up. These tasks are designed to test you in the most brutal way. They're almost cruel. And um, I'm scared for you. Emma Watson, good morning. Hey, Emma, nice Hello. to see you. You know, my daughter told me the other day when they started reading the Harry Potter books at her school, all the girls thought your name was Hermie One. I know, I know. <laughs> I've had so many different interpretations, like, oh, um, Hermione, uh, Hermie One. But now Hermione. I guess... Now, I guess because of the movie, everyone knows how to say her name. And Hermione, like Emma Watson, is growing up. Yes. And I think this movie reflects that, don't you? Because she's dealing with all sorts of teenage issues that are very, very relatable. Yeah, no, she definitely is. You know, there's, um, this is the first um, film book with the introduction of romance, quite a lot of teenage angst. You've, um, the boys well, and the girls have got to find dates for the Yule Ball and yeah. And yeah. she sort of has, has a thing for Harry and Ron. I mean there's some sexual chemistry there and yet they're kind of completely out of it. No, they're really not there. I think, I really think it's with Ron though. I really think that he's jealous. I really think when he um, goes to the ball with Victor Crumb, he's, he's jealous. I, I think so too. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know, we talk, I talked to Daniel about this. This movie is a little, a little darker, a little scarier than the previous ones. Yeah. Um, do you worry about that in terms of alienating fans or scaring young fans, I guess? Um, to be honest, it's always been about staying faithful to the book. And um, the book is much darker, you know, uh, someone died, two, two people die in it, um, Voldemort's back, it's, it's going to be darker and um, it's always been about staying faithful to the book and, and we're older now, it, it's going to be more mature, there's going to be more mature issues um, and I think it's great that they've actually embraced that and haven't pulled the punches um, and I think they've made a really great film and yes it is scarier for younger people but um, I think what we've lost in younger audiences we will have gained um, in, And people in who are a little more yeah, mature. Yeah. Meanwhile, I, I think in the Yule Ball scene, Hermione walks down the stairs and it's such a great scene because suddenly you can see that she's really blossomed into mm. a young lady and her <coughs> her character is forever changed and the way she's perceived, I think, yeah. is forever yeah. changed, no, this right? This scene is meant to be a kind of real transformation. You're meant it's to kind see of a her. Cinderella moment, yeah, I have to yeah, say, no, Emma. exactly that. It's a kind of um, Julia Roberts Pretty Woman-esque moment where, she, <laughs> where you're, you're like, wow, God, she's actually pretty. Um, she's meant to look like you've never seen her before, very different. And, and I was going to ask you, because I didn't have time to talk to, to Daniel about this, mm -hmm. but you've worked with three different directors for these yes. four movies. Chris yeah. Columbus did the first two. Yeah. The second one was directed by? Uh, Alfonso, oh no, uh, Chris did the first two, and then Alfonso did the third. And right. And now Mike Newell Mike of Four Weddings, Weddings and a yeah. Funeral Fame yeah. did this one. Yeah. Is it hard for you to, to have different visions for every director? Because I would think that would be either very exciting and mm -hmm. challenging or like, ugh, what is this guy going to do with it? Well, uh, to be honest, you know, I actually, I love it. I have to say. Because I'm sure it, you're going to say, yeah, I thought, Katie, ugh, what does this guy want to <laughs> do with it? <laughs> well, no, I mean, it's just um, from my point of view, you know, being in the same kind of films for four years now, it, it's, um, it brings something new to it every time and I learn something new and it keeps it interesting for me. You've been doing this for the past five years. Are you sick of it at all, Emma? I mean, do you feel like, gee, I want to try something else or... Gosh, I'd like to be a normal teenage girl for a little while. Well, um, in between uh, in between the films, I always have a break. Um, I go back to school and I'm, and do the kind of normal school girl bit for a, for a while, which is nice. And um, I start the fifth one in February. And then after that, um, we'll see. I, I definitely wouldn't want it to be the last thing I do. I'm looking around for new stuff. Yeah. Well, Emma Watson, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thanks Thank so much you. for coming by. and. Enjoying our cool Harry Potter stuff, yeah, right, Emma? Yeah, really good. And Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire hits theaters this Friday. And we'll be back after your local news.